because we're going to look at coloring the H.264 QuickTime movies. Now, don't forget you also have LUT Master, so you have a obviously over 700 color presets to explore to give you different types of looks. But in this case, let's just check out the presets I created to uh, give you just a quick fix for that more vibrant look that you saw in the demo. When you want to install those presets, again, it's very simple. We're going to go over to our presets folder in Premiere and right click import presets and we're just going to go into our hypnotic inks color folder and import the presets and you should see them right there what I like to do is grab an adjustment layer and what I do is I usually just drag and drop a, a layer on top of my footage so I can really cover uh, some real estate with the uh, when I'm doing some coloring so a quick look with our uh, color presets. We have a hue adjustment, vibrancy color preset, an animated hue, so that's going to cycle and change colors over time. In this case, I'm just going to throw a saturation bump on there. And let's try a hue. So you can see with the hue that the color value totally changes. So I wanted to give you this preset so you can explore changing the color of uh, the ink. So if we just go over here into our hue value, we can just modify this and turn the, uh, the cycle. And, you know, we can get some pretty cool looks and get a variety of different color looks with uh, the inks. And for some more basic uh, quick tips, I'm just going to drop a levels on here. And, you know, I suggest just really playing with your, your black and white color values, working with the levels. We can see that we can really bump up the contrast and the dark areas. Uh, we can lighten it up, too, if we just bring the value of the, uh, the black down. So explore, create, enjoy.